So 2017 has been a great year for fixed income risk assets. We are ending the year with post-crisis tights on credit spreads and 13-year highs in consumer sentiment. I feel that there are three reasons for that performance. First one, the continuation of global central bank liquidity, or the easy policy stance that global central banks had in 2017, with ultra-low rates and increasing balance sheet sizes. What that did in 2017 was suppress financial market volatility and in turn entice more appetite for risk assets. Second, this is the first time since the financial crisis that we are seeing a broad-based global synchronized growth across the developed as well as the emerging markets. And the third reason is benign inflation. We have not seen the high inflation which equates to higher yields, which will equate to lower performance from fixed income assets. In 2018, we will see the normal course of a cycle play out, where you see a strong growth, pick up in inflation, will push the central banks to pull back on their accommodative monetary stance. We believe that we have seen the, the peak of accommodation from global central banks. The US Federal Reserve has already communicated its intention to raise rates three times in 2018 after their last hike in December of 2017. They're also on a scheduled path to reduce their balance sheet for the next five years.